next we're going to look at what to do if you have a child or an infant that's choking. Again, we split that into two different techniques for infants and children. So we'll start with infant, which is uh, under the age of one. So the most effective way to clear an obstruction is with effective coughing. But if the if they're not coughing effectively or if they get tired, then you're going to move on to the, the techniques I'm going to demonstrate now. Just bear in mind that infants have um, not got as an effective cough as an older child and they can't spit out anything that's in their mouth. So you just need to be careful of that. So if you've got a ch uh, an infant who's coughing uh, ineffectively and you suspect they might be choking, the first thing you're going to do is just have a look in the mouth. Is there anything there that you can see that's easy to get. If there is, you get one chance at sweeping that out. If it doesn't come out after one attempt, leave it. You don't want to risk pushing it in any further. So then what you're going to do is give up to five back blows. What you're going to do is support that infant's airway, lay them across your knee, angling them slightly downwards so that gravity's helping, and you're going to deliver up to five firm back blows between the shoulder blades. You don't need to deliver all five if the first three are effective. So you aim for each one to be effective, but if they aren't, you do up to five. And you're going to reassess. Is the child still conscious? And are they still choking? If the answer is yes, then you're going to move on to chest thrusts. So lay the child across your lap. Find his iffy sternum. One finger's breadth above. And this time you're going to use two fingers to deliver five chest thrusts. Similar to your CPR, but slower and jabbier. So one, two, three, four, five. Again, it's just up to five. If the obstruction clears before the fifth one, you don't need to do all five. You're going to check the airway because those thrusts might have um, pushed the obstruction up. Again, if it's, if it's there and easy to reach, you get one chance to flick it out. If you can't see it or that one doesn't work, then go straight on to your next manoeuvre. Reassess your child. Are they still choking? Are they still conscious? If they are, back across your lap and again, up to five back blows. So one, two, three, and out the obstruction comes. If it didn't, you continue to, to do all five and then reassess and move on to um, your chest thrusts if they weren't effective. It's important that you reassess your child regularly because if they, they do go unconscious, you're going to go back to your basic life support that we... Uh, looked at earlier. So exactly the same as it was, you're going to have a look in that airway. If you can see something, flick it out. You're going to give up to five, uh, you're going to give five rescue breaths. Uh, if they don't work, move straight onto your compressions. You're not going to reassess for signs of life. This time you're going to do your 15 compressions. Um, look in the airway. If there's nothing there, give you two rescue breaths. So it's just the same BLS with the added manoeuvre of checking that airway before you give the two rescue breaths. OK. Um, if your child has had any manoeuvres done, especially uh, chest thrust, it's important that they get checked out by a doctor. Um, even if they've coughed up what, what you think was there, there might be something still left there. So it's important that they get um, checked over, really. And again, if you're alone, you're supposed to do one minute's worth of manoeuvres before you call an ambulance. But if if there's somebody else there, I would recommend you call an ambulance as soon as you recognise that the infant's choking. Okay. So we're going to move on to child next. A child over the age of one, up to the age of puberty. So again, it's slightly different because children are different um, sizes. So it might be harder to get them across your lap. That's the best way to do it, but if you can't, just get them to lean over and stand behind them. Um, children, again, can follow instructions better than an infant, so you can encourage them to cough, and they do generally have a more effective cough. But if that coughing is not effective or they're getting tired, then you're going to move on to your manoeuvres. So pop them across your lap. They can manage their own airway this time, so you don't need to support it. Uh, angle them down so gravity helps, and five firm back blows between the shoulder blades. Is the child still choking? Yep, so you're going to move on to abdominal thrusts this time. So you want to be behind the child. You're going to find the ziffy sternum and the belly button. You're going to make a fist and it's go, going to go in between. So make sure it's not on the rib cage, it's underneath. You're going to put another hand in front and you're going to deliver up to five abdominal thrusts, 
firmly and sharply upwards and inwards. So one, two, three, four, five. Again, if the obstruction comes out on the third, you don't need to do all five, but you just do up to five. You're going to reassess again. Has the child coughed out whatever it was? Are they still conscious? If they're still choking, back a question knee. One, two, three, out it comes. If it doesn't, continue on all five, reassess. If it's still obstructed and still conscious, zippy sternum, belly button, make a fist. One, two, three, four, five. Again, especially if you've done any abdominal thrusts, this child needs to get checked out at hospital to make sure we've not done any damage there. It's important that you regularly reassess the child to make sure they're still conscious if they are still choking. As soon as they go unconscious, you're going to revert back to your basic life support with that added manoeuvre of checking that airway before you give any breath because if it has um, been expelled, you don't want to blow it back in. So child's unconscious, check the airway, one opportunity to flick something out, five initial rescue breaths, and then heel of your hand, one finger's breadth above the ziffy sternum, um, 15 times and then two breaths. So your algorithm is five initial breaths and then it's 15 to two. Okay. <laughs>